Hello there, and welcome back to my iPad. Yeah, we are doing something a little bit different today. We are going to be taking a stroll through Xian uh, Yu, or um, <laughs> as it's more literally translated into English, Idolfish. Uh, this app right here that I can't put in the center of the screen. Uh, so what this basically is, um, this app is owned by a Taobao. You might know that as you might know it as that like one Chinese marketplace. There's like AliExpress, and then. Basically, there's that and Taobao, and uh, Xian Yu or Idolfish is basically mainland China's version of eBay, or but not Taobao. There's like it's a different concept. Taobao is more like uh, you know different stores putting their stock online so you can buy stuff from them in bulk or something like that. And while Idolfish is more of a secondhand selling platform, basically similar to like Carousel that you have in here and other. Asian markets. That's a very terrible example to give to a majority English audience. But anyway, we're just gonna hop right in. Uh, so there are some like interesting video game or Nintendo related things that you can't find over here on uh, Idolfish. So I figured, why not? Since this is a mainland Chinese exclusive app, we could just take a quick look through some search results and. Uh, just see what funny things we can find because yes, mainland China, there are some like wacky things to come from there. So uh, I do have some uh, search results <laughs> already put in here for convenience, just so we can just like scroll through all of them real quick. So uh, let's just start off with N64. Let's look at some N64 stuff because as we all know, the N64 actually released in China in 2003 as in the form of the IQ player. And that was it's like a whole separate thing, but as you can see, there are still like N64 imports. And right here we have Banjo Kazooie. Wow. Also, all the prices here are in uh, RMB, which is Chinese yuan. So if you want to convert that to USD, have like a calculator ready on the side, so you can look through all these. So uh, yeah, Banjo Kazooie for 350. Actually, I should probably have um, a calculator open on my end as well, so I could like. <laughs> see it because I also need to convert this to like Hong Kong dollars or US dollars. Right, so this would be around 51 US dollars, which is I guess a decent price for Banjo Kazooie. I mean it's in good condition. I've gotten I've gotten it for cheaper on this website. Uh but uh Actually N64 cards are a little bit fickle if you're looking for them on mainland China because obviously there are bootlegs and reproduction cards. So uh Thankfully, there are servers that provide like full-on pictures, so you can check if uh, the labels and anything, if there's anything wrong with them. As you can tell, this is like perfectly legit uh, Nintendo label. But uh, yeah, uh, we got a bunch of imports. That these are Japanese imports. There's EverDrives in here. I think EverDrives because they're like a mass-produced kind of thing. So sometimes some Chinese bootlegs just kind of like slip through the cracks. Cracks. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I almost said craps there, dear, dear lord. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know if uh, these are actually reliable in any form because they're probably like decently reliable because I see them a lot in China. But uh, also a bunch of like English games Stunt Racer, Doom 64. I want to see if there's like an example of like a wacky uh, like bootleg game. This is legit, Doom 64. And here we have an IQ. We're gonna search IQ later on, but yeah, this is one of like many IQ games you can find here. I know these go for like ridiculous prices on eBay. If you just look up IQ player on eBay, you get like terrible prices, but uh, they are like decently cheap here in uh, China. And also uh, they have like free shipping across the country. Free shipping across the country, by country I mean China. Uh, this does not include Hong Kong because if, you, if I want to buy something from here, I do need like a mainland China payment account with my real name, Taidu and everything, and that's not possible. So whenever I buy something from uh, this app, I do need to use a proxy. Thankfully, the additional shipping costs from like China to Hong Kong are not too expensive, so that's all cool and good. Here we have a funny Tribute 64 wireless controller. Starcraft, and here we go, here here are some examples of uh, funny reproduction cards. Actually, that Starcraft 64, as you can tell, that label there is definitely not legit. Wait for it to load. Oop. Yeah, that is not, yeah. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Look at that repro label. At least they're, like, upfront about it. But, yeah, you can generally tell an N64 bootleg by the fact that the Nintendo logo is just all weird, wacky, ew, gross. Uh, yeah, 380 for both of them, I believe. And here we have some, like... <laughs> Non-specific. Why is this just like 
this is just N64 cart, like, taken apart. I can't even tell what game it is. You can probably tell from, uh, NUSNB... I can't look at this, like, backwards. NB5L? MBSJ or 5J. I'll put, like, a thing on screen to see if I can find out what that game is. But it probably super... It's like 400... Oh my god, 400 RMB. That's gotta be a rare game, right? It's Japanese, though, so I can't imagine there being a Japanese game that's rare. I've seen a con I've seen a copy of Conker's Bad Fur Day on here before. And that is actually ridiculous. Dear Lord, there's a 64DD game in here. There's even video. Uh, yeah. 750. That's Doshin the Giant. 750 for two cassettes. Jesus. Oh, wait, no. No, it's 1,000 for two cassettes. Each one is 750. Dear Lord. Okay. Yeah, they have 64DD stuff in mainland China. And it's still expensive there. What a what a crazy thing. But, uh... And here we have Bung. V64. These are, like, one of the many, uh, many... CD-based game copiers that were made available for the N64. There are also, like, plenty of sellers in Hong Kong that sell these, so... Not too, something too special here. Uh, GPD... Bunch of boxed games... Here we go, here's another, like, series of, uh... Oh dear, hmm... That... Yeah, these don't... Are these PAL games? Yeah, GoldenEye. I mean, considering the labels, I'm pretty sure these are from Europe. Actually, from Europe. Cash converters. A better way to sell. A great place to shop. <laughs> Is that a hand-drawn label? Extreme G? Even the manual and everything? There's like, yeah, these are from like rental stores or something. Well, not rental stores. It's just kind of like weird secondhand. And yeah. Some people sell like, do these listings? And I believe these are all repros. It, it's probably. Yeah, I feel. I feel like. I feel like considering. Yeah, very likely to be repros. Uh, yeah, that's basically N64. Just a bunch of like miscellaneous N64 things. You can even find expansion packs for free 80 yen, 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 RMB, whatever. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. There's even like the Pikachu N64. And, uh, God, look at that. Man, I want this. Fully Atomic Purple N64, complete in box, 1,380. God, these are rare. I would love to have one of those if, if they weren't so dang expensive. Anyway, uh, we've looked enough N64 stuff for today. Let's look at some, uh, you know, something that would be exclusive to China. Let's look at IQ. So, of course, IQ was not just the IQ player, there's also IQ branded other consoles, like this 3DS XL. This is, I believe, a uh, original design? But yeah, IQ 3DSs are kind of like its own region, separate from Hong Kong, Taiwan, I believe, that I mentioned in my one core video. Here we have an IQ GBA SP. It's, you know, a GBA SP with the IQ branding. It did come in 001 and 101 variants. This is a 001, and they do come with their own, uh... That River Heaven picture caught my eye. I just want to know what that is. It's just in the background. I think it's like a funny guidebook, but, uh... Yep, that's just a DSi. Oh, look at the funny info. TW001CHN. And I believe IQ DSIs are actually, uh, region locked? To, like, they can only play Chinese... No. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure IQ DSIs can play, like, any game. But IQ only... Like, I, the DSI games that were for... The Chinese DSI games are region locked to the IQ specifically. That's a DS Lite. You know, we have a bunch of, like, IQ player stuff. Bajillion thing. Yep, there's a Game Boy Micro. DS Lite. Yeah, plenty of IQ stuff. Here, here we go. Here's what a, <laughs> here's what a IQ DS cartridge looks like. If you, in case you were wondering, look at how tiny that new soup logo is. <laughs> I've actually never seen this before, so that's kind of cool. Metroid IQ Edition. 
Uh, what? Oh, this is someone posting about their experience of being um, kind of like scammed or something. So, oops. Uh, a whole bunch of IQs, 420, nice. And yeah, basically, it's mostly just DS and GBA stuff. I don't think there's anything else because, like, I don't think the GameCube ever got here. Here's a bunch of uh, GBA games. Yoshi's Island, WarriorWare. Yep, that's what uh, GBA games look like in IQ. They just use DS boxes. <laughs> and they just use, like, the GBA slot. Just put them in there. Sure, why not? I mean, it works. But, uh, yeah. And here's, uh, yep, that's Mario 64 DS. And here is a boxed IQ game. So I believe how a physical IQ games work is that they just come with like a... Because obviously IQ, IQs don't use like physical cartridges because, you know, it, it's all stored on the system itself. So I believe what you get through these is like a download code or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I need to make a... I still need to make that like big IQ player video someday. You'll get some funny merch. This is a notebook? Huh. Smash Brothers. Yeah, it's a, it's a notebook. It's like a, there's like a school grade name thing on the bottom there you can fill in. That's kind of funny. Like, consider the fact that this is from 2006 and it's using like <laughs> all the Mario, 90s Mario renders. It's just kind of funny. That, uh, yeah. Here we got a CD-ROM. Is it just like... Does it just have um, uh, the tools that you need for like the IQ player? I thought you could just download those. And there's something different on there. I have no idea. Bunch of manuals. That's Mario 64. Which is weird because I'm... Pr no, 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 no. I'm dumb. I, I, I misremembered. No, Mario 64 was not the pack-in for the IQ. That was Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario was packed in with the IQ. This is a 3DS XL. That came with Mario Kart 7 and 3D Land. Nice. Oh, and here we have the Play and Micro. Oh, we even got video. Uh, tilt this sideways. Can't see. Okay, do it in post. AK, thanks. Okay. This is the IQ MP4 player. This is the Play and. It's not even Play and Micro. That's the original Play and, but it's the IQ version of it. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, huh. Very nice, very cool. Complete unbox and all that? How much is it again? Oh, 1,480. Yeah, that's, um... Ho, ho. Plans are really hard to find, so, you know. IQ plan? Probably, like, a. Anyway, yeah, I think that's about it for IQ. Uh, we can, we gotta, we, we don't, we don't have all day, so we're just gonna, like, you know, look through, uh, a bunch of other things. I was wondering, like, what you would get if you put, put in GameCube, because I, as far as I know, the GameCube did not have, like, an official mainland China release, but there are plenty of imports that you can find here. I was wondering if, like, this would be a decent way to find, uh, American GameCube games were cheap, but, uh, you know... Mario Party 6 US version for 885 RMB. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. <laughs> Free 5-8 for Toast Dual Tour. I can find these in Hong Kong for cheaper. So yeah, um, GameCube... Ga There's a Panasonic kill in here. 4,000? Jesus. Actually, that might be a good price for a Panasonic Q. <laughs> All things considered, I have no idea. I, I, I'm just doing the mental conversion in my head. We do have a bunch of, like, box games, though. Mario Party 7 bonus set. Yo, 1,200. What are we getting? Pac-Man vs. Monster Sing Scream Arena. Shark Tail X-Men. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh's Rumbly Tumbly Adventure. No way. Totally worth the price. Let's go. Oh, these are, this, yeah, this is a not for sale listing. These are like posters, promotional posters. Where do they get these? Where are they getting these from? Yeah, they mentioned you can, yeah, it's not for sale. They just made this listing to show up. Super Mario Strikers for 860. 
Yeah, so GameCube games being like overpriced is also a China problem. <laughs> it's not just a US thing. People know these are in good demand. <sighs> Pokemon Channel for eight ninety six. Dear Lord, I got the Japanese version for like how much? <laughs> Anyway, uh, other than that, yeah, the game keeps themselves decently cheap. Two fifty, you could probably find them cheaper than this because this is like literally just a console with no other accessories. Get rid of a bunch of like disc only listings. These are all Japanese, so yeah. Why is there a Switch game in there? And we're going to Wii territory now, and also Famicom. Which actually, let's take a look at Famicom. So I'm searching this by the Famicom's uh, Chinese name, Hongbake, which is uh, basically Chinese for Red White Machine. That's what we commonly call the Famicom here in China and Hong Kong. So, uh, but mostly what you're getting here is uh, bootlegs. So, whatever this is, <laughs> look at it, look at those tiny t baby man PCBs, and oh no, oh that's a classic Famicom bootleg right there. <laughs> Look at those two game ports just like bolted to the side. Oh man. Um. Yeah. Dendi. Dendi. Dendi controller? Is that a thing? I thought that was a German Russian thing. I forgot. Oh yeah. All of these are bootlegs, I'm pretty sure. Is this the bootleg? This does not look like a bootleg. Oh, that controller certainly is, though. Huh. This is weird. <laughs> oh my god. I have never seen a Famicom, Famiclone that looks like this. This could just be a whole video where I just look at Famiclones, because I have never seen a Famiclone looking like this. Family game! Looks like a tiny Roomba. FC Compact. That's a very like that. This is this is a, one of the like very common uh, Fabiclones that are still being sold today. Just comes with two controllers and a and a multi cart box and all. This is this is common. This is this is any zapper. But does it have like a Famicom extension plug? That would be very interesting if it does have that. There's like multiple listings of these. It'd be cool. Because uh, the Fabicom Sapper, I guess it's fine. Urban Champion. <laughs> That's the first game we find. This is just a shell for the Famicom. Yep, they're literally just selling a shell. Clean shell. 150. Bunch of uh, modded Game Boys. They do like modding their Game Boys. And look at all these <laughs> Look at all these colors. <laughs> It's so funny. This, yeah, some dude out there I guess has like a Famicom collection, just like multiple colors. Just collecting infinity stones. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, here we have like a... Yeah, here we even have uh, the old advertisements with uh, Jackie Chan advertising that this uh, Famiclone that came with like an entire <laughs> keyboard, like family basic style keyboard and everything, and they like position it as an educational tool for kids to learn computing. They really leaned in on a family computer aspect there. NES Mini Clones. These are super common, even in America, I believe. Just like, but they're just kind of like super cheap in China, I guess. But yeah, you can find a ton of uh, cool bootleg games, Famicom clo Famiclones, that's a, yep. Now, I do, I, there have been times where I was trying to find, uh, let's see if I can do this, FC, Mario. I don't think just searching Mario's name would give me anything, especially not the English version, because yeah. Well, it gives me some, like, most, yeah, the, hmm. What is this? Oh, it's a Mario 1 lunchbox. It's like a... Yeah, it's like a lunchbox thing. There was like officially licensed merchandise. That's cool. Okay, yeah, these are legit. Is this lit? Okay. Pop quiz. 
are these legit? Okay, actually, if you know what Pokemon Stadium 2 looks like, that is absolutely not legit. Neither is Paper Mario, I believe. It's convincing, but, you know, I can tell, I can, I can smell a fake. Yep, these are both fake because it's a Nintendo logo. And yeah, Paper Mario is so expensive these days. And here we have a cartridge version of Lost Levels. 9.99. I think that's like a placeholder price. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, what I was trying to say was uh, I've, I have like attempted to like search for uh, Seven Grandad specifically, the, the physical version of that, but I don't think I've ever actually uh, seen it. Actually, I can actually search for uh, the Japanese version of a. Uh, the mic is in the way, so part of my Chinese writing. And anyway, yeah, this is how you do funny Chinese on an iPad. Here we go. Mario 7 and 1. As you can see, we have Mario game, Mario 11, Mario 10, 5, 3, 14, and 9. This is not... Yep. Oh, this might be the closest we're getting. <laughs> it's like the same layout as that one like infamous multi-card, but it's, it's not the one that has Mario 7 in it. And that makes me sad. Right? I mean, it'd be cool if I ever found... <laughs> Mario 14, Mario 11, and Mario 10. They they, they have the multi-carts with all the other versions of Mario. Grand Mario. Mario 3, Mario USA, MC Mario. It's like a MC kids, my kids, but yeah. Mario game 11, 14. They have all the Mario multi-carts except Granddad. Are these legit? These look legit. These are NES games. 149. Not bad. NES games are kind of hard to find here. Mali Boss. God, imagine if I like find a copy of Grandad right here on the stream. Probably not. I'm just saying. If I ever get lucky enough, maybe, but yeah. Uh whole bunch of uh Mario 5. That's like a Wario Land cover on there. Super Mario. 20 and 1. 3 and 1. Super HK 6 and 1. These are like selling for very crazy prices. What? <laughs> 3D World for the for the Genesis? <laughs> 3D World for the Mega Drive? I need to know what that's about. <laughs> These are Mega Drive cards. Why is there a 3D World card? Okay, if, if I have to guess, it's probably like the Mario World like hack for the Mega Drive, but someone accidentally put in like a 3D World label on it instead. <laughs> it's just kind of funny though. It's like 3D World for the Genesis. <laughs> It'd be amazing if it was real. Uh, here we have a bunch of other like uh, bootlegs. Oh, that's a... Oh, look at all those. Yeah, a lot of these uh, bootleg cards use the same like yellow plastic with like a protective uh layer in the bottom there also angry birds classic famicom bootleg but yeah a lot of uh yeah these these are like produced specifically for a certain type of a uh, famicom bootleg mario 10 mario 9 mario 14 mario 16 mario was missing is on there oh, yeah i'm also looking at a uh, yeah no yeah, I can I could scroll I could scroll through these Famicom bootlegs forever, but we are like <laughs> we are running out of time. I have been sitting here long enough looking at these. We could probably sit here for like an hour just scrolling through these. But uh yeah, uh there is one thing I want to show. Let me check this. Super one for Mario 5. This is not granddad. I'm 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 done. Anyway, there was one last thing I wanted to show. Is uh one particular seller on this uh app in particular. Um this might be a little, uh, little known, little known secret. So, uh, here we go. So, uh, this particular seller on uh, Idolfish appears to have access to uh, stuff that comes from like the production factories that Nintendo uses in mainland China. So, what he basically sells is a whole bunch of OEM parts, like. <laughs> For super, super cheap. Um, so, for example, these are screws. 
Uh, this, these are shells for the Switch Pro Controller. I'm just gonna like scroll through these and just list through all of them. There's a uh, full on unused Joy-Con shells. If you want to do your own shell swap, you can spend 38 RMB and just get a pair of Monster Hunter Joy-Con shells. We've got Joy-Con grips, wrist straps, I don't know what that is. Uh, yep, there's also DS download station cartridges <laughs> for like super cheap. I got I tried getting one of them. I tried getting one of these from eBay and then it never arrived and then I actually said screw it and then found out I could get these from mainland China for pretty cheap and uh yeah the rest is we I'll do a video on these like sometime in the future but uh here we have something interesting these are switch joysticks but as you can see they're like tint a different color these are actually a uh, Switch Joy-Con joysticks from 2016 pre-release units. Uh, I have no idea how he has these. He has also sold. Uh, he has also have. Uh, there's records of him selling other types of pre-release uh, Switch hardware as well, including uh, motherboards. I think that's some of like. Actually, uh, he. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to like say too much stuff. I don't know, but. Uh, he had, there is records of him selling like the black Joy-Con shells that are exclusive to dev units, so there's that. Uh, of course, uh, the Joy-Con rails, if you want them, the plastic for the D-pad buttons, if you want them, they just have them all. These are like, yeah, these are circle pads. Yep, these are circle pads without the actual pads, like the base of the circle pad, and uh... Was, you know, the 3DS styluses, you want OEM styluses, yours were only like 10 RMB, Xbox One joysticks, um, PS5, Switch Lite joysticks, Pro joysticks, uh, game card slots and volume buttons for the OLED model, uh, look, there's DSIXL demo videos <laughs> that I got these from, uh, DS download station, Another bunch of, uh, oh, Switch Lite joysticks from the Pokemon version. Here we go, here's the bu whole bunch of 3DS circle pads. Look at all those circle pads. Dear lord. Um, and of course, if you want to, you know, just swap out your 3DS shell, you can just, you know, go ahead and get one of these with the new 3DS XL. That's an OLED kickstand, that's a mini USB data cable. You want a Wii Protective Jacket? Yeah, here's a, you can, there's plenty of Wii Protective Jackets from here. Um... You want your Mario Joy-Con shells? Here we go, Mario Joy-Con shells, and here we go, this, uh, <laughs> the limited edition 3DS shell, Smash Brothers, Link Between Worlds. <laughs> There's even like uh, a Japanese and American versions. Here's the Year of Luigi one, 3DS screens. <laughs> oh, that's like a four parts SNES Mini. Nun red nunchuck analog sticks. PS4 console stickers. Wii remotes, 88 RMB. This is like a slightly blemished Wii U gamepad for 270. 3DS D pads. Vita batteries. DSi <laughs> motherboards. These are, I believe, uh. Let me read this. Yeah, uh, these are dev units. Unused death units, apparently. Uh, apparently region 3 as well, from what I can read. I can't tell if you, these are like, you can just swap them in and they're like perfectly usable. They do seem to have parts on them. But, uh, yeah, um, this is whack. Of course, you can just get Joy-Cons from them. 278 for a pair of neon blue and red Joy-Cons. <laughs> uh, dear lord. Uh, the back for the OLED Switch. Whole bunch of 3DS parts. Draw. Look at all. Look at all the stuff. There's not for resale DS games. Whenever there's the purple 3DS. Let me just see like what had. What yeah. Let me look at the sold listings. Here's where the fun part begins. So uh, whoops. Uh, DSi Excel styluses. What? Why is there a Sony play? I can't. Okay, I feel like that's a placeholder thing because there's only one of those, right? <laughs> and it's set at 78. Okay, that's probably a placeholder thing. Uh, Wii U pad 
Wii U gamepad development motherboard unpopulated. Something, something... A whole bunch of... Yeah. Oh, I can't... Can I click in there? There we go. Weird... Yep. Look at all those... Uh, yeah, this guy just has a whole bunch of uh, dev units. So, uh... That's not for sale. That's just like a listing that he put <laughs> online on there. And, uh, yeah. Here's another Switch battery. But this is actually a pre pre release battery, I believe. It doesn't even have the Nintendo branding. So, uh, yeah. Very fascinating. A whole bunch of, uh, 3DS upper halves of 3DSs. It's just, like, parts. Presumably, like, destroyed dev units that have been salvaged? I have no idea. Um... Switch dock, switch fans. Jesus. Uh, yeah. As you can tell, <laughs> Idol Fish is a wacky place. But, uh, yeah. Download stations, Wii U, gamepad. S that's a, like, a PS3 keyboard. I don't even know that existed. Whole bunch of, uh, NES Mini, SNES Mini controllers. The SNES, uh, faceplates. I know these are super, I know these are, like, sought after. Like, the, the limited editions of these 3DSs. So, uh, that's whack. Um, <laughs> HDMI cables. Anyway, yeah. Uh, we've been here for, like, half an hour. So, I feel like we are about to call it a day. Uh, yeah. This is, uh... Idolfish, a wacky uh, China marketplace where you can just find stuff. Now, uh, if you're if you're in the U.S., uh, I'm just assuming you're from the U.S. Maybe you're in Europe, and if you wanna you know get stuff from here, you can. You will need a proxy, and uh, I don't know how much it would cost to ship something from this service to the U.S., but uh, from some testimonials from people I know. Apparently, shipping to the U.S. can be pretty dang pricey, so um, just uh, keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, there's a thing you can look forward to. And for fortunately, like in Hong Kong, shipping China to Hong Kong is actually pretty dang cheap. So I should probably use this more often. It's just the fact that you know, I have to use the proxy every time I order, and it's not the most convenient thing for me. And I gotta, you know, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do about it? But uh, yeah, that has been a quick stroll through Idolfish. I, I hope you just enjoyed this little uh, interesting look at a marketplace that probably not a lot of people overseas know about. But uh, yeah, also yeah, we sometimes buy stuff from. I know I know preservation groups to occasionally buy stuff from Taobao and Idolfish to you know preserve contents of like dev unit motherboards and all that. So uh, you know that stuff is happening behind the scenes. Do not worry. But uh, yeah. That will be it for uh, this uh, quick trip. So, uh, quick trip, I say. We've been here for like half an hour. But uh, yeah, I'll just catch you guys in the next uh, funny video. So, uh, stay safe and take care.